Not that man, we ain't going with that. Hey, what, what he said this is the pro stick signature, go to shots, shot timing, profiles, and then you got the rhythm, the rhythm shooting thing right here. So, we're gonna go with this with the Jason Tatum with the rhythm shooting. So, you, you can do his signature step back. I hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. But you know what time it is, man. These guys dropped a banger today, they dropped the uh trailer. They dropped the, they pretty much dropped everything with the courtside report, man. Here we go with this joint, man. Courtside report powered by Pro Play, man. Yeah, they say it's a nine minute and zero second read. If y'all know what it is, it's gonna be 30 minutes for us, man. So, hey, listen, man. If y'all don't do nothing else, man, make sure you like the video, comment your thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to go with this thing. Turn up on, Alice. And if nobody told you this today, you're my brothers, my sisters, my family. Love each and every last one of y'all, man. What I need y'all to do, man, is hit that like button for your boy if y'all don't do nothing else man and like we said hey we got the nobody cares work harder tease they coming up man so make sure y'all drag grab that man but uh this is what we gonna do we're gonna watch the uh the trailer real quick and then once we watch the trailer we're gonna go from there man so look you know i'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna mute that because we're not about to get a uh copyright right here and uh like i said y'all y'all already saw most of this man uh no 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 we don't care about that we want to see the actual actual trailer though and if we can't see the actual actual trailer, that's all right, man. Hold on. Let me say this is six seconds or whatever. That's just some stuff that Mike and I'm talking about. But anyway, we're just going to go right into it, man. So, hey, learn more about the added gameplay enhancements in NBA 2K25 for new gen, next gen, whatever y'all want to call it, including all new pro play animations. So we're just going to go right here, man. Elevate your game in 2K25 on PlayStation and all that good stuff. Factual transitions and engaging immersive. We don't care about that. Pro play, gameplay power by pro play. This is something that we said that they're going to double down, triple down. Down on do all this stuff man they are really pushing pro play because like when anytime the devs come up with something new or or something they're, they're gonna push that and they're gonna try to make the game go to that way go to the next level and all that good stuff man so we just gonna get right into it man uh gameplay power by pro play uh, nba 2k24 welcome in the innovations and enhancements to nba 2k franchise and introducing next generation of groundbreaking realism via pro play for NBA 2K25, we expanded on Pro Play's animations, revamped the dribbling engine, and then also improved the gameplay on both offense and defense. 2K25 is, a, is all about personalization, customization, and accessibility, man. And they, they really are about accessibility, bro. And we're going to talk about all that, man, in one second. But before we get started, one more time, make sure y'all like the video, comment your thoughts down below. Once again, we're trying to go to the moon, Alice. Hey, like I said, man, look. So do we do our regular intro? Yes, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. Let me get my hat again. Getting my hat together. Y'all don't know. Y'all, yeah, if y'all ain't got locks, man, y'all don't know. Hey, you, hey, you feel I feel like I can't do nothing until I get my hair looking right. Okay, there we go, right there. We we weird it right there. Now you gotta have a little bit coming over the shoulders like that right there. You can do one shoulders, two shoulders. Y'all let me know if y'all do straight. If y'all got locks, do y'all go straight to the back with nothing? Or do y'all just let it, you know, it, it, when it come over the shoulders, it come over the shoulders, man. Or your locks down, your bike like brute, so you can't even do it. It don't matter, man. But anyway, let me know that down in the comment section. Pro play is realized. In an even greater way in NBA 2K25 using the pro play animations which have been directly translated from real world NBA footage gameplay becomes one of the most authentic as we or even more authentic as we as we replace traditional motion capture animations with pro play animations so that's what they're trying to tell y'all a lot of stuff in the back back in the day they just mo capped and uh now what they're doing is they're looking they analyze the NBA players um footage and then they put it into the game like that. Uh, we've added, excuse me, 9,000 pro play animations. Uh, I, and I promise you it's not this boring, man. I don't know why I'm sitting here. Uh, I don't know why I'm sitting here uh, yawning, man. But hey, it is what it is. So look, um, we have added 9,000 pro play animations in NBA 2K25, including 1,500 dribble animations, 1,100 signature shot animations, animations uh, covering most of covering most rostered players in the NBA from uh, 2023 to 2025 and then over 1300 new off ball animations including 150 150 new signature motion styles that's dope right there man you get somebody signature motion style signature motion style is something that they have been talking about for years where they had they talked about it. I think they talked about it in um what's say 2k19 to 2k20 where there's like you'll be able to have like James Harden or Draymond Green like defensive style and then they only worked it in 
uh, last year. So, but like they said, man, that's something that they they put out there, but then it never made it into the game until now. Uh, the dribble engine is our most is our most amazing upgrade that we made. They said they keep pushing 15 years, so 15 years would put us back to, let's be honest, 15 years would put us back to live 09, and at 10 would be 14. Yeah, live on nine, and I want to say that Mike came on board right after that one. Right, something like that. Anyway, Mike came on board. Let's see when Mike came on board. Uh, I want to say he came on right after, right after that. Mike one joins 2K. What year was that, man? That was, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, yeah, uh, oh nine. Right. So NBA in in 2009, EA, uh, EA with the help of Mike Wong, uh, would release one of their best NBA Live games ever. However, Wong returned to 2K shortly after the release. Uh, of, of live 10 so that would have been 2009 so he's talking about this is the most innovation since mike came back since mike if you from florida you say from mike since mike came back but hey it is what it is and you're gonna see like they said man they're talking about some stuff like when you see avenues uh, a lot of people were wondering like with pro play how is it gonna be because a lot of the stuff is gonna be slower and like there's no canned animations and stuff like that. And Mike did hint at, you could be able to size somebody up, but when you see the you see the angle, you'll be able to flick the stick and attack, or you can flick the stick and, and uh, excuse me, take the shot, man. Hey man, I promise y'all this ain't this boring, but hey, it is what it is. NBA 2K25 featured an all, an all new dribble uh, engine built from the ground up. This is built from the ground up. See here, we keep hearing this, man. We said, they said the game was built from the ground up. Maybe 25 is an amalgamation of all the other games built from the ground up. So it's like 20, 21 next gen was not built from the ground up, but it had some pieces, some features that were built from the ground up. So if you keep taking these and putting them on top of each other, maybe now 25 is the game that is completely built from the ground up. We took features from here, 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 and here, and then we put those together on top of a new engine, and then that made the game be built from the ground up. Either way, I am excited. This is the biggest change in our in our, uh, in our our gameplay engine in many years, and we're eager to we're eager for you to test it out. In, very, in every previous version of NBA 2K, dribble movements was managed by manually I mean, managed by manually programmed pre-scripted animations. So this is what y'all call the canned animations. Uh, animations transitions from a library of motion captured movements. Now, with the power of ProPlay, NBA 2K25 Dribble Engine generates dynamic motion from real world NBA footage to create a new and more authentic feel. Okay, it, it, it really don't matter what it looked like, man. It's how it feels to us. That's what we, that's what we think, man. Uh, it goes beyond animations and turns movement with the ball into a, a holistic, until one holistic dynamic piece, piece of motion, one on one to one with the with how players dribble in real life. Okay, so like you're not gonna be able to just do some type of move and break out of it, or we're not gonna see him dribble the ball and you're obviously going this way. And then you flick left stick and then he just carries the ball over here. Maybe that's what they say. We're not gonna see that uh, anymore. Uh, stops stops are tighter, launches are more explosive, and probing the court looks as looks and feels smoother. And that's a smooth move right there, man. Hey, more lifelike, more smoother, more lifelike, and more consistent than ever before. We can't wait for you to experience this firsthand. I can't wait to experience it firsthand. NBA 2K25 provides more variety, accessibility, and freedom for offensive newcomers, seasoned players, and full-blown experts, man. That's gonna be dope, man. We're gonna see what they're talking about, man. So there we go. NBA 2K25 provides a variety of accessibility and freedom. We just already said that. Uh, to the newcom to the newcomers, uh, season season players are full blown ex full blown. Ex we just said all of that, man. We ain't going with that. Hey, what what he said? This is the pro stick signature, go to shots, shot timing, profiles, and then you got the rhythm the rhythm shooting thing right here. So we gonna go with this with the Jason Tatum with the rhythm shooting. So you you can do his signature step back. I don't know how I feel about that, man, because you'll be able to flick, flick. But I mean, it's not like you're going to be able to do. If you're not good at the game, it's not going to matter, right? So this is not going to make somebody that's not good better. This is going to make somebody that's good over the top. So I'm all for stuff like this where we are increasing the skill gap because somebody that's not good at the game is not going to be able to flick down and flick up and time it unless they are sensational but hey other than that like hopefully we're gonna get that taken care of too but they got real player percentage like man so maybe i don't know man wait hey check it out though with nba 2k25 
Uh, 2K24, we introduced dribble breakdowns to initiate the sequence of signature size up moves that you that you can use to create separation and break down a defender. NBA 2K25, we took the same, we took this concept a bit further. Holding up on the pro stick will trigger the signature go-to shots, which will which will feature some of the most exciting dribble into shot combinations directly translated from the nba footage another feature driven by pro play this is what i'm saying man 2k always gives us stuff like this man we always get new stuff we always get new moves we always get new ways to play the game and then the community <laughs> i don't want to use that <laughs> shut the fuck up shut the fuck up how can y'all how do y'all always ask for new stuff and then when they give you something it, it, it doesn't matter. We, we doesn't, that ain't what we wanted. It's too skillful. It's this, it's that. We want shooting to be harder. They made it harder. We cried. We wanted dribbling and stuff to be a little bit more difficult. They made it more difficult. We cried. It is what it is, man. We're also implementing a new shot canceling feature that lets you break out of any advanced shot at any time to transition into into uh, other moves. So that's the, they're like the step back, you know, in the, in the mid 90s, you hit them with the <laughs> and then you do this. And they think you go shoot, and then you go on by them and go to the rim. We were trying to go to the rim, but they might hit you with the eh, and then go over here and then eh, and then come back left and eh, and come back right, and then they gonna shoot it. Man, I don't know how I feel about this, man. But we know how the community gonna do, so it don't matter what it is. Hit that like button if you if you rocking with what I'm talking about. You're rocking with what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, let me see uh, the shot canceling uh, double the transition, coupled with the signature go to shots, the pro play dribble movement engine, and expanded. Uh, pro play animations the free flowing experience allows you to start a step back jumper your step back jumper just like what i said cancel out of the shot and move into a different dribble <laughs> dribble move and take a drive or take a drive lane to the basket so you hit the step back <laughs> and then you can put it down is it the same thing as i said we used to do in the 90s man like oh, oh no it is what it is or we were dribbling in come here and be like uh, and then you know just a little hazy something like that man and hey, the improvements the, the, these improvements give offensive players more tools to be creative. And then, so this is what I don't like, man. So you got you got uh, difficulty based uh, right here where you got the shot time and difficulty based. We see real player percentage. We see uh, low risk, low reward, normal risk, normal reward, high risk, high reward. And I, it just makes me wonder like how much of this is related to the Z, right? And then how much of this is how much of this is related to the Zen? How much of this is related to them just trying to remedy the Zen? And then how much of this is just like where shooting was hard in the beginning of the year? What's gonna be the sweet spot? Normal might be the sweet spot, but then high risk, high reward might be the sweet spot. Obviously, they already telling you we bringing we bringing back the big whites. They coming back. People said that they like green to green or nothing shooting, but obviously that's not the truth because we got all the other stuff because they said that high risk, high reward is green or miss, right? Everything else, I'm guessing that there's some wiggle room in there, but we're going to see what they're talking about, man. We received some feedback from the from the opposite ends, from both from opposite ends of the spectrum on the shooting in the past year. Some players love the added challenge while others found shooting to be too difficult, uh, especially for newcomers. In NBA 2K25, we've added new setting a new setting called Shot Time and Profile that allows you to customize the, sh the risk versus reward of your shot timing. Uh, choosing low risk, low reward will provide you with, will provide more forgiving shot timing that emphasizes openness and taking smart shots over the release of the, uh, over the release of the button or the stick. So if you can get open, you can shoot the ball, man. That's what we're saying. So like, like now, I guess T, now people can run with us again because that was the main thing. People couldn't shoot the ball when they was blast ass open. They couldn't hit a shot. It's like, bro. So, 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 if you're if you're a corner guy like me, corner boys, we always ready. Listen, man. Hey, this this might what you want. Low risk, low reward. If you only take wide open shots and you know you're terrible at shooting, this might be what you need. I will provide you know, like I said, more forgiving and uh, openness, and then taking smart shots over the release. A mistimed shot could still go in, uh, but the green make window will be smaller, making it more difficult to consistently have excellent timed releases. So, the, so missed time shots can go in, but the green window is smaller. Choosing high risk, high reward will offer will offer more challenging shot timing with green or miss outcomes. If you're consistently good at timing your shot, you're sure to reap the rewards. Oh, reap the big rewards. Okay, cool, right? Then custom visual cues. So they talked about this the custom visual cue right here and added uh, MA2K at 2K24 added a shot timing visual cue uh, setting the setting 
the selected hold up uh ah, the visual cue setting that, that allows you to select the jump point so we had what we had jump set point release and then push uh all, all that so then in ma 2 k 25 uh my player jump shot creator you are no longer limited to those four options after after selecting a base release and a release speed for the for the custom jump shot you can now set your visual cue to any point in the shot which is good for me because I like my visual cue. I like a lot of stuff, but I like my visual cue to be here, like right when he gets here or right when he turns his hand over. So being able to set that to exactly what I want is gonna be dope. Uh, giving you full customization over over when the release, when to release the shot, for, you know, the button, whatever. Like you said, man, hey man, listen, some people still gonna not, you, you made that custody and you still can't time it. It's gonna be crazy, man, but hey, it is what it is. They got a new thing called Rhythm Shooting. While all shooting control methods from NBA 2K24 are returning, NBA 2K25 introduces a brand new way to shoot, to shoot, uh, to shoot called the Pro Stick Rhythm Shooting. I don't know what that's gonna be like, man. It might be cool, it might not be. Uh, instead of simply pressing and, and releasing the shot stick button, I mean, rest, releasing the button, the shot button or stick, you will first pull the shot stick down and then to start the shot. Then as you see your as you see your player's uh, jump shot animation reach its set point. So I wonder if it's gonna be at set point or where I want it to be the set point that you set. Maybe they're saying the set point like the set that you set, but they capitalize set point so that would make you think that it is set point. Who knows? Uh, either way, you push the shot stick up and try to match the timing and the speed of the players uh, of the players push and uh, push motion. We were doing that in 2K21 current gen and they took it away because people just were cheating. I just wonder how, like, this is, oh, it's a cocktail, man. It's going to be good, but we're we going to see, man. But so this intuitive uh, down-up motion, this uh, down-up motion uh, stick reward stick rewards you for the accuracy mimicking your player's signature shooting motion. So, like I said, the rhythm shot is just going to be down-up on the stick, which was really what it was in the other one if you could match it then like it was like you had two chances to get a green i don't think you're gonna have that this time but you know because you could click the left stick but we'll see we'll see how that goes anyway as we move on let's keep moving on man a, a player who mastered rhythm shooting will raise their raise their ceiling and outplay someone who who uses the traditional shooting creating some more possibilities to demonstrate their skills so i guess with the rhythm shooting when you come in and you're dribbling and then you know it's just like you just boom you can just take your shot at any point in the cycle or uh, any point instead of having to get set and then shoot it maybe that's what they're saying though but a player who masters rhythm shooting will raise the ceiling and outplay someone who's using traditional shooting creating more possibilities to demonstrate your skill your select your selected shot timing profile also uh, applies to rhythm shooting okay so that's cool allowing you to choose a low risk low reward a high risk high reward uh experience as details as detail further up we encourage you to give the give it a try when we first introduced rhythm shooting to the rest of the team uh they said you know they said they said the thing that a lot of people didn't like it but then now they like it man so it is what it is with shot time and profiles custom visual cues signature go-to shots and the new pro stick rhythm shooting nba 2k25 gives you ultimate customization over how to shoot the basketball like hey, it is what it is defense defense hey let's see how much we got on defense yep that's it <laughs> all this on offense and this ain't really nothing defense you get a blurb so anyway we got uh pretty much long story short this right here is just the cutoffs coming back with the right stick you can cut people off in nba 2k20 um nba 2k20 no 16 you could you could shuffle your feet shuffle your feet shuffle your feet and so the, i think that they've been trying to figure out what to do with this right stick on defense for a long time on nba 2k 20 i mean 16 if i knew where you were going i could be playing defense be playing defense but when i know you're going right i know he's gonna try to go baseline i could flick the right stick and sell out and go baseline and, you know sell out there and if i if i guess right i cut you off this is gonna be very high risk high reward for a lot of people man but we're just gonna see what it says hey take advantage of all of the defensive measures that'll impact your ability to lock down opponents and be sure to visit okay well whatever man this is one of them joints right here you see this is one of those cutoffs like right there that's gonna be if i guess right and and you're going there and i sell out it's not gonna happen every time but if you do it at the right time it should be good but nba 2k25 featured a brand a brand new defensive cutoff system offensive players that have been i mean that have long been able to dynamically change direction using the right stick 
a savvy defensive player can now do the same. By utilizing the right stick on defense, you can control your player and quickly slide laterally into the position to cut off offensive players attack i don't know why it took almost 10 years to get it back why it took eight years to get it back but hey it is what it is a cut off a player's attack successfully reading the ball handling and anticipating their drive will i mean with and with the successful cutoff can stonewall the the offense or cause them to fumble the ball we just really want stonewalls man because a lot of times we were standing right here. We know where he's going. He's out of stamina. I know he got a drive. He's got it in his right hand. He sized up with the right. He's not going to cross it over because that would be too slow. I know he's going here, and I just want to cut him off, and I had no recourse to do so. So I think this is going to be dope, man. I had a contest sitting in. See, that was just it right there. NBA 2K25. Uh, we made significant changes to the contest system. We now use the we now use a dynamic weighing uh, system rather than the fixed one. The, that evaluates the impact of the defense at the start of the shot versus the release and the and computes the proper coverage uh impact accordingly so you can you can you can it's, it's through the shot it's dynamic now in addition you'll notice that the perimeter and the interior defensive ratings are uh as well uh, as well as high differential hmm? let me see uh, as high differential play a more important a more important role in calculating the defensive coverage so it says interior interior defensive okay so that's gonna be cool man and then it says uh the, these these changes so a center not gonna be hopefully a center that means he can't jump from the doggone th free throw line and get a contest man that's all i'm hoping when i'm out there shooting and i got an 85 three ball but it is what it is hey uh, these changes can better reflect what you what you see happening on the screen and rewards your strong defensive uh, defensive sequences sequences to decrease the comp competition's changes of convert chances of converting their shots, man. So it is what it is. Man, it got on the AI. You know they got better logic and stuff like that, better spacing, better all that coaching, all all that good stuff. Closing remarks, man. Hey, man, visual concept team work tirelessly to make uh, we, we listen to this stuff. We don't care. Learn 2K. You need to learn 2K. This this is the channel for you, man. You want 2K rumors and news, you in the right place. So uh, it is what it is. Hey, last but not least, the visual concept team work tirelessly to make all of the gameplay changes in NBA 2K25 next gen feel rewarding and intuitive and uh, for all experience levels while keeping while keeping our passionate fan base in mind. Uh, we're so excited to see clips from the NBA 2K community utilizing all of the enhanced <laughs> using one move over and over and everybody using Patrick or T-Mac, t mac You know what I'm talking about? That's what they're going to do. I'm the only one out there still trying to thug it out with Caldwell Pope, but it is what it is uh, with the new enhancements. Be on the lookout for, we're going to find the one move that ain't pro play and just, just run that into the ground anyway. Be on the lookout for even more news and information blah 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 all that stuff man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man this video been long enough already man i hope that you guys really enjoyed it all my people man t misley bell all that yeah do make sure y'all do y'all thing man hit the like button comment down below let me know what y'all think i will holler at y'all next time till next time hey, it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's town guys, please, guys.